In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for H3PO4 plus KOH. This is phosphoric acid and this is potassium hydroxide. So first, with net ionic equations, we have to balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. You can see I have three potassiums here and only one here. I'm going to put a three right here. Now I can see I have three hydrogens, three times one, three. So I have six hydrogens here. I'm going to put a three out here. That balances the hydrogens. I have one phosphate, one phosphate, that's good, and the oxygens are balanced. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Next, I write the state for each substance. Phosphoric acid, this is an interesting one and one you should memorize. This is a weak acid. That means it's a weak electrolyte. It will dissolve, so it's going to be aqueous, but when it dissolves, not much of it's going to dissociate into ions. Potassium hydroxide, that's a strong base, so this will dissolve, it'll dissociate into its ions and it'll be aqueous. Potassium phosphate, that's going to be soluble, and then water is a liquid. So now that we have the states, we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. That gives us the complete ionic equation. So we said that this is a weak electrolyte. We're only splitting the strong electrolytes, so we're not going to split up phosphoric acid. That'll stay H3PO4. And I'll write the states at the end. Let's not do that now. For potassium hydroxide, strong base. Potassium's in group one, one plus hydroxide. This whole hydroxide ion has a one minus. Good one to remember. So I have three potassium ions, and then I have three hydroxide ions. So these are the reactants. In the products, we said potassium had a positive charge. The phosphate, that has a three minus charge. That's why we need three potassium ions. So we'll have three of the K plus, the potassium ions, plus the one phosphate, and then we don't split liquids apart, so we have three water molecules. So this is our complete ionic equation. Next, we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of our complete ionic equation. In essence, they haven't changed, so we're really not interested in those. As I look in the reactants, I have three potassium ions here, and in the products, three. Let's cross those out. But everything else is unique, so this is our net ionic equation for H3PO4 plus KOH. Let me clean this up, and I'll write the states in, and we'll have our net ionic equation for phosphoric acid plus potassium hydroxide. And this is the net ionic equation for phosphoric acid plus potassium hydroxide. We have the same number of each type of atom on both sides and the same amount of charge. We have three minus on this side, and then we have the three minus here. So everything is conserved. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.